Helen in the Iliad. Her character. Other characters' opinions. Scholar's article. Summary. Helen's character. Here are some key points on Helen's character and quotes to back it up. Self-hate. The scheming, horrible creature that I am. How I wish some vile storm had taken me and whirled me up to the mountains before all this could happen. Self-pity, blame of gods and selfishness. On us two, Zeus has set a doom of misery. So I weep for my own ill-fated self. There is no one else now in the broad land of Troy to be kind to me. But since the gods have decreed that these miseries must be so, unfaithful and hateful, Helen left Menelaus to go with Paris. She now speaks badly of Paris and seems to be trying to rule in Hector. I wish I had been the wife of a better man. This one has no wits in his head. Blind folly of Alexandros. To Hector, Helen spoke softly to him. Come now, come in, brother, and sit here. Goes against the expected woman's behaviour. She doesn't respect her husband and is not submissive to him, which contrasts typical female behaviour of the time. However, she can sometimes fit to typical woman's standards, working at a great web of purple cloth showing her weaving. Doesn't miss home. She had to be made to miss home through goddess's work. The goddess put in Helen's heart a sweet yearning for her past husband and her city and her parents. No slash few close relationships. She doesn't show love for Paris. She doesn't miss Menelaus. No Trojan woman like her. The Achaeans dislike her. Only Priam and Hector treat her well. Hector is the only one she likes. So I weep in anguish of my heart for you. Dearest to my heart by far all, by far of all my husband's brothers. Helen seems to hate herself for the troubles that she has put the Trojans and Achaeans through. However, she also pities herself and seems to blame the gods. She is also selfish, as when she mourns Hector, she mourns herself to the same extent. Helen is unfaithful as she willingly leaves with Paris and then starts to slate Paris, showing unfaithfulness to not only Menelaus but also Paris. The fact that Helen has been made to miss home by a goddess implies that she doesn't miss her home herself. Also, she has no such few close relationships with anyone else and this is shown looking at the other characters' opinions of her page. Other characters' opinions on Helen. Here are some key points and quotes to back it up. The Achaeans in general dislike Helen. They don't like the fact that they have to fight for her. For fear of the shame and curses that are heaped upon me, said by Helen. While I am in a foreign land fighting for hateful Helen's sake, said by an Achaean. Trojans in general dislike Helen. They all shudder with loathing for me, said by Helen. The elders respect her. No shame that the Trojans should suffer agonies over a woman like this. She is fearfully like the immortal goddesses to look at. But they do know she causes trouble. Let her go back in the ships and not be left here, a curse to us and our children. Priam likes Helen, and he treats her as his own. Come here, dear child. It is not you I blame. And to Hector's body, Helen says, your father was always kind to me as a real father. The women of Troy blame her and dislike her. All the women of Troy will blame me afterwards, said by Helen. Hector. Hector liked Helen, and he was nice to her. I have never heard a hard word from you or any rudeness to Hector's body, said by Helen. Scholar opinion. Hannah M. Roisman. Here are some key points I picked out from a scholarly article. Helen's character. A suffering figure. She has a good mind. She wants to belong. She is an abhorred foreigner viewed as a cause of suffering and strife. Helen is presented as a suffering figure. The first mention of her in the epic, Nesta presents her as an unhappy captive longing to escape from Troy. Menelaus says he is eager in his heart to avenge both Helen's struggles and her groans clearly demonstrating her suffering. 
Paris says he will return all other possessions but not her, stating basically that she is also just a stolen possession and so showing how she would be suffering. Helen is viewed as a cause of suffering. She has few defenders and most Trojans and Achaeans blamed her. Only Priam and Hector were ever nice to her. This is backed up in my own work and so if needing more information please see other characters' opinions on her. The more Helen is seen in the Iliad, the more her personality shows, and the more assertive and the part of society she becomes. She is not seen until Book 3, previously spoken of by Paris, Nestor and Hector, which shows she is defined by others, and she is challenged to get autonomy, self-definition and self-assertion. Summary of Helen She is self-loathing, self-pitying, and tends to shift the blame onto the gods. She is selfish. She is unfaithful and help hateful. She doesn't fit to normal woman's behaviour, usually. She doesn't miss home. She has no such few close relationships. She is a suffering figure. She wants to belong. She's just a stolen possession, so shouldn't be blamed. And she's disliked mainly by others.